Hi, I'm Madison and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new reading vlog for you. So today's plan is to do a 24 hour reading vlog. Well, technically tomorrow because I'm filming now regardless. Um, will it be 24 hours? We'll see. Will it be 48? Maybe. Tomorrow is Sunday and then Monday is a public holiday so we have that off so I've got two days of reading to do which is super super fun but um, my main goal for this vlog is to read a specific author and that is Mariana Zapata. Now the reason is because I am terrified to read Mariana Zapata. This woman writes 600 page romance books but they're not just 600 page romance books they're 600 page epic slow burns now Mariana's part is known as the queen of slow burns because literally nothing happens until the last 20 percent ever she's chronically known to not have any action or anything even happen at all remotely with the characters until that last 20 percent now, for a 600 page book, that's a lot of waiting. So I've never picked her up before. I'm kind of thinking of reading All Roads Lead Here because this is a small town one and I like small town romances. Um, so I'm gonna give that a shot tomorrow. I'm gonna try All Roads Lead Here, but if I start it and I hate it, I'll try from Luke Off With Love and then we'll just keep going and see if anything works. But yeah, that's that's a long enough introduction. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Sit on my bed, I got nothing to do. Take on my phone one second right to you. I'm really bored. Please don't ignore. Started as fun, now I randomly know You love rainy days and you still live at home It's cool to see You're real with me I know we've never met And things like this never last But every time you text back I can't help but reply with hearts in my eyes I think I really like you but I never say it straight to your face I think I really like you but I don't wanna repeat my mistakes Hey, okay, so it is uh, Sunday morning. I just went out and got myself a bagel and now I'm in the middle of making myself some coffee. And I am currently one chapter into All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata. I do think I'm gonna stick with this one. In the very first chapter, you meet Aurora. Um, she's like 33 years old, recently divorced. There's like a lot of secrets that she has to do with like her past life and some things that went down in it and like her I think she, her, her like ex-husband was like super super rich and famous but, like no one actually knows who she is or something like that. After all this stuff has gone on with her life and her divorce she has decided to move back to this town and it's during tourist season so there's nowhere she can really stay but then there is like this Airbnb that pops up for this like studio apartment above a garage and she's like oh perfect. She gets there and the guy who owns the place Mr. Rhodes comes up and is like why are you breaking and entering and she's like what do you mean why am i breaking and entering he's like what are you doing here and he's like this big rough and gruff like mountain man he's a silver fox he's got like this gun at his hip and she's like oh my god he's going to kill me <laughs> and then this like scrawny teenage kid comes like running up the stairs and is like dad I can explain and the dad's like i swear to god if you did what i think you did and he's like look it's a lot of money and he's like I don't care I don't want a stranger living in our garage and then she's like oh good god how do I get in the middle of this this is not a good situation she's like I will pay you triple the rent for one month if you just let me stay for the one month so I can get my shit together get my feet on the ground she's like you won't hear a word from me you won't see me I'll be completely out of your hair and then like after like <laughs> paragraphs of this guy being like no he finally relents and is like fine you can stay for a month you have to pay triple the amount and I want it in cash tomorrow morning. <laughs> and I'm just like, good God, this man, he is, he is like a grump to the max. I'm so interested. I'm very intrigued to see where this goes. I do have a live show in um, 30 minutes over on Riley's channel from Riley Marie. They have like this weekend, like romance readathon going at the moment. So I'm just putting in her sprints for that, which I'm very excited about. Um, I'll leave a link down below so you can go watch it afterwards if you're curious about it, but I'm gonna start reading that during then. And yeah, I'm gonna grab my coffee and do that. So I'll talk to you guys later.
Bye. Okay, so I have everything all set up for the live show, and then I got my coffee there, my Kindle there, and let's go. So it's currently snowing. Um, love that to look at. Don't love that to live in. Okay, so it's been a couple hours now. I really was planning on reading so much today, and I did jack all. So, uh, this 24 hour vlog is not gonna be 24 hours, that's for sure, because I'm determined to at least read this book during it. So, uh, I am reading All Roads Lead here. I am now, I think, 30% in. And they're like interacting the, like, our two love interests, like, a lot more than I was expecting. So, I know in some of her other books, the love interests don't really have too much, like, interaction with each other until, like, halfway through. But I think the difference with this one is, she, like, he's literally her landlord um and while he like is so grumpy around her like he's starting to kind of come around to her at this point which is really cute he is like the ultimate grump i cannot like it's been so hilarious and like i don't know this is just like it's very like this book feels like a warm blanket like on a cold day i mean guess right that it's like freaking snowing at the moment like accurate but that's really what it feels like because it's like this small town it's this woman looking to get back on her feet but you know She's in this town where like, you know, her mom passed away years ago and that still is like a traumatic experience for her. I like that there's like, the guy has a son, but not really a son. That whole son situation is kind of confusing to me. I can't even explain it, but like, that's a whole thing. So he's like, he's like technically like a single dad, which like, I'm always a huge fan of. And I love like the kid and the kid is like kind of trying to like warm up to her as well, which is super cute. And I'm really liking it. Like I said, it's like a warm blanket. Um, She's got a really pretty writing style. She's very descriptive in the way that she does things. And it's like, while it's it's dense in the fact like everything's very slow, like you have to kind of like take everything in that you're reading. Like there's, you really can't skim this because if you try and skim it, like, and I tried at some points because like a lot of it is description, you just don't get the full effect. So I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna keep going. I'm hoping I can finish it tonight. It's like 8.30 at the moment. And I have technically five hours left. That's doable. That's doable. I'll let you guys know how this keeps on going if it's if it's too slow burn. I think it's funny because like it is slow burn, but like she's flat out being like, yo, he's attractive. I mean, like he was out there shirtless chopping wood. But like you can also kind of see that he's like intrigued by her. Like obviously you don't get his POV, so you don't actually know, but you can tell he's like, he's interested. He's like, I hate her, but I'm intrigued by her. You kind of get that feeling, so yes. Okay, so I am currently 60% into the book. <laughs> I really love this, like, way more than I was expecting to. It's kind of crazy. Um, I just want to say I really, really loved the camping tent scene, if you know what I'm talking about. And I also think, as much as I loved that scene, like, loved it, the sexual tension was crazy to the extent of, like, this is the reason why she's like the slowest slow burns it's because like that was like the perfect scene for them to have like their first kiss <laughs> do you think it happened no <laughs> she's not like that <laughs> i've never had a scene like blue ball me like that was like that is like the equivalent to like blue balls like that scene like <laughs> hands down um anyway it's midnight so i might read for like another hour or so uh, just depending on how I'm feeling, but definitely loving it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Oh, I also want to mention he has this nickname for her called Angel. <laughs> and this dumbass the entire time is like, why does the, how does he still not know my name? Like, why does he keep getting my name mixed up with Angel? And I'm like, girl, ma'am, it's, oh my God. <laughs> and he also calls her Buddy. It's like a nickname, he calls her Buddy. And like, it's really weird. Like, that's the only weird thing I'd say in this entire thing is him, call it, like, him calling her Buddy. And like, I'm wondering if he's calling her that as like a boundary. So like, he doesn't like, like to be like, she's my friend. She can't be more than a friend. So I'm going to nickname her Buddy. That's the only weird thing. Anyway, I'm going to go out to reading, but yeah. Look, this book is destroying me actively destroying me because I'm hanging on it's like two in the morning hanging on to every word they are saying to one another 
and it is destroying me and I love them so 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 much oh my god also there is an only one bed trope in this kind of technically now do I think anything is gonna come from this no no because every time there is a scene where I think something might happen nothing does but I still love it and it's it's so perfect so perfect oh my god I need to go to bed soon but I'm like at the 80% mark and I'm like I'm so close but I'm so tired <laughs> so we'll see good morning okay so I <laughs> I stayed up until like 3 a.m. last night reading I have an hour left um, but I just had to stop and not read until 4 a.m. because I decided I shouldn't do that um I also was like at that point I was like I really don't even feel like updating anymore so I was like I'm just gonna wait till the morning so I did get to I literally just woke up <laughs> I um uh could go think Madison think okay I got to their very first I'm gonna guess their only sexy scene together and it was really well <laughs> Like, considering that Miranda Zapata only puts one, like, sexy scene in her books, um, they are well written and very nicely done. I mean, they're not, like, kinky or anything, but, like, they're just very well written and, like, drawn out and long and, like, sensual and just beautiful. Oh my god, they were, like, really good. And I guess, like, maybe part of it is because of the full attention that's been, like, building up, but... Anyway, um, I'm going to be continuing to see how this ends. I'm, like, mostly curious to see, like, you know, I told you she's, like, divorced. I'm curious if her ex is ever going to show up in this. Um, I mean, because he's, like, a dickweed. So, like, I kind of want to see him, like, get more of his comeuppance. But, you know, that's just a personal preference of mine. But, yeah, my Kindle is apparently dying. So, that's my update, and I'll catch you guys up later. They're literally, this scene right now is like, oh my god, mm, the sadness I'm feeling is ridiculous. I really want to cry. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a little bit snowy outside. You can even see this like build up of the snow here on my window, but it ended up, ended up sticking more than I had expected it to, so that's great. <laughs> hey, okay, so um, it's currently like blizzarding outside, but... I finished. Oh, it's been two weeks since I last updated this vlog. <laughs> well, a week. I finished All Roads Lead Here. I loved it to death. Wasn't 100% sure I was going to rate it, but I think it's like a solid 4.5 to 5 stars. I was thinking of like just making this like a single book vlog, but it's currently blizzarding ish outside in New York. It's like a nor'easter. So I figured that it would be like the perfect time to pick up from Luke Off with Love. So I'm actually going to read this today. Um, I know it's like 500 something pages, but I think I can read it all in today. That's my goal. It's like, well, it's like almost two o'clock now. I've been messing around and like just doing stuff all morning. Like I said, loved, loved, loved from uh, All Rays Lead here. I think the ending was great. It was very satisfying. Their like one time together was delicious and the way that everything culminated and the ending, it was just very satisfying. So I definitely think I enjoy Marion as part of his writing, but this will be another way for me to figure out if I do definitely love her writing. We'll see, and I'll catch you guys up later. Hey, okay, so it's been like two hours. I'm now 20% into From Luke Love With Love. I'm really loving it. I will admit though, I did just get to the 20% mark and like I was starting to like fall asleep while reading the words on the page. So I was kind of like, oh, maybe I should just, this was like, I'm gonna pause and update you guys. Really loving it. If you don't know what this is about, this follows Jasmine and Ivan Lukov. Jasmine is a figure skater. She's 26 years old. She's never actually won anything. She has a habit of choking or, you know, she just gets second all the time. She's never managed to place first. And she has gone to the point now where she thinks her career is over and she might have to consider retiring. And then you have Ivan Lukov, who was like the golden boy, the bad boy, the most won every single competition that you could ever think of. No one can ever trounce him with a hearty body and a big ass of the figure skating world. And he needs a new pairs partner for a year for reasons. 
and ends up, uh, they end up reaching out to Jasmine to be his pair's partner for the year. And she's like, are you shitting me right now? Like, are you pulling my leg? Like, are you like, are there cameras filming us while you're saying this to me? Because um, I know, you know, everyone in this room knows, um, literally this entire figure sitting complex knows that Ivan and I do not get along. And they're like, we need you, we, there's no one else. And she's like, thinks about it for a hot second. And it's like, you know what? I really want a chance at winning. I want a chance at achieving this championship. And like, I really love it because you're seeing inside of her head and you're seeing how like, I don't know, I couldn't relate to this because the idea of like wanting something for so long, trying for years and years and years to achieve something and thinking that like your dream is just never gonna happen. Like, and there's something about it that just like really impacts you and that is just so relatable. This like fear of like putting your all into something and just seeing it like shrivel and die. And she's like, this is, this is my last chance to actually win and like get a medal or a cup or something to show that the last 16 years has been worth it. And I just thought like, it's just so beautiful and heartbreaking and so realistic and raw. I love it. But it's hilarious because they're both grumpy. Like she's a grump and he's a grump. So it's grumpy, grumpy romance. And I love that. You don't really see that very often, I feel like. And so I'm really digging this whole grumpy, grumpy vibe between the two of them. Plus what I've realized and what I think is the reason why I do enjoy Marianne Zapata when some other people don't is the fact that she has a very stream of consciousness writing style. And I love stream of consciousness. It's how I prefer my poetry um, written. It's how I write my own poetry, stream of consciousness. It's definitely giving me Yuri on Ice vibes. Yuri on Ice is an anime, if you don't know what that is. But if you have read From the Cup of Love and loved it, highly recommend you go check out um, Yuri on Ice or vice versa. It is a gay figure skating competition romance anime and it is great has amazing songs, it's so beautiful. It's the same idea of like there being someone who is like number one in the figure skating world and someone who people thought perhaps like probably should have retired now coming out to like do stuff again with him. So like I recommend it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go back to reading. It just stopped blizzarding, but it's still crappy and snowy and gross out. So yeah, that's my update for now. Catch you guys later, bye. Hey, okay, so I'm like 50% into From Luca with Love. So I'm doing a little update. I just had their scene where they do a nude photo shoot together and I was like, Okay, I'll see you. I'll see what's going on. And I love that saying. That was great. I definitely know that I'm not loving it like as much as uh, All Roads Lead here, which is fine. I mean, I'm only 50% three. You never know what's going to happen. But it is super fun. I love the whole figure sitting aspect. I love this whole like grumpy, grumpy, hate to love thing going on. Even though I kind of have the feeling that like maybe he never hated her. And like it's all one sided from like her side. And like he never meant to be rude with half the things that he said. And she just like took them more literally. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's like one of those misunderstanding situations. But anyway, I really love him. And I love that like he's kind of, you can tell from certain scenes that he's like definitely attracted to her. And she just like, <laughs> is so blind to it all. So yeah, so I could do some update and I'll catch you guys up more later. Hey, okay. So I know this is like a totally different look than what you guys have seen me in, but I'm in the middle of starting a brand new vlog series. So I'm going to close out this vlog like this. Um, so I did finish From Luke Off With Love last night. Um, it took until the 96% mark for them to have sexual intercourse. The 96% mark. Now, I don't know about you, but when I hear things are slow burn, I don't think it's going to be within the last 4% of the book. What the actual F? Oh my god. They didn't even have their first kiss until like 85, 90% in either. I was like, what? I, I literally, I got to the point and I hit the 90% mark and I was like, oh my god, are they not even gonna like do it? Am I not even gonna get anything in this? And then the 96% mark happens and well, bam, they do it. But I was like, and it wasn't even like, okay, their first kiss wasn't even that great. Their first time together was like, okay. Like I had just expected so much more because all roads lead here. That was phenomenal. That was amazing. I loved it. Like that did it so right. That did it correctly. You had this, when they had their first kiss, it was like, oh, it happened. And then when it came to the first time, you were like, it was like, it was so amazing. It was so good. And in this one, there was just something missing from this romance. I'm giving 
from Look Up With Love, like a four out of five stars. Aubrey's lead here is 100% a five out of five. I just thought it was the cutest thing in the entire world. It was way more like well built with their relationship. And it's funny because from Look Up With Love, they spend a lot more time together throughout the course of the book. In my opinion, this one from Look Up With Love really does lose something because it is single POV. And I think if we had had Luko's POV, this would have been a five out of five star book, but not having his POV really impacts it because you're not seeing his side of things. And I think that makes a huge difference. Whereas with All Roads Lead here, you didn't really need his POV. You got it all from her and it was amazing and I freaking loved it. Um, another thing with From Luko With Love, no one told me about the pig or the bunny or the multiple animals in this. I love that. I'm not gonna go too into depth because I don't wanna spoil anything for you guys if you do choose to read From Luko With Love. That was pleasantly surprising. I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it from Luke with Love. It was fun, but it wasn't like on the same scale as All Roads Lead here. So at the end of the day, the question is, is Marina Zapata too slow burn? Sometimes. If stuff happens like All Roads Lead here, it happens at the 80% mark, the tension's really great throughout. You have this really adorable sexual tension-y relationship brewing. Five stars, totally worth it in the end. Totally worth it. When it's more like from Liquor With Love, in my opinion, that was too slow burn. Everything took too long and it didn't, the payoff wasn't exactly totally worth it in my opinion in the end, which is funny because I feel like, like I said earlier, Colty and from Liquor With Love are like the top two that I feel like everyone talks about. And so I'm curious now, I do want to read Colty. I don't need to like buy it though. Um, I do want to read it to see what I would think of it because I'm wondering where it falls along this spectrum of Mariana's partner-ness. But it still depends. So at the end of the day, I like Mariana's partner. She's definitely worth it. I would recommend All Roads Lead here. From Luke With Love is like definitely not worth the hype in my opinion. Don't yell at me. Um, but yeah, this was a fun vlog and let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there are any other authors that you would like me to do taste tests of because I'm very curious to see what you guys want me to pick up because I think it's fun. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that button down below if you want to see more of me. Please go to my channel. And until next time, thanks a bunch everyone. Bye-bye.